Morning, YouTube. <laughs> Morning, YouTube. Morning, YouTube. Morning, YouTube. Morning, YouTube. Hmm. Well, strange intro, I know, but. I'm very aware that this video is going to be quite boring, so um, I thought I'd snazz it up a little bit. Did it work? Yeah. Okay, should we carry on as normal? Yes, I think that's quite enough of that stupidity. I was trying to make it, you know, like other YouTubers, all snappy and bouncy and something that grabs your attention, but <sighs> too old for that. Anyway, morning, internet. Uh, today, just a quick uh, oil change on the A3 behind. Uh, come up with the service light on last week and the missus started to panic so um, it has been a little while since it's been done and it is due for a service so uh, again this is going to be another boring not a how-to video but uh, me changing the oil on an A3 so join me or um, switch off now whichever is your choice so quick change let's get on with it first of all jack her up there you go, so we're all jacked up. Uh, just got to get the bottom plate off <laughs> again. Seems like I only did this recently. Oh, I did, yeah, to change the secondary water pump. So we plate off and then we can get to the bung at the bottom, drain the oil, new filter and everything else. And um, yeah, 10 minute job all over. Or in YouTube time, three minutes. Let's time it. And a couple of tens and some 13s. And then take out the sneaky little one you forgot. And down she comes. Hey! And there you go. Once you've got the bottom panel off, you can see oh, a secondary water pump that I changed recently. Of a video somewhere up uh, at the top, maybe. Or in the. Yeah, somewhere. <laughs> and there's my drain plug. So my oil catches in place. A little bit of cardboard underneath for spillage. 19 mil on there like that and get you the better position and then crack it off right this is the bit we need two hands there with out we come as i think i said before the design of this is a bit naff because look at the mess it makes oh well drop in the oil and now for the oil filter which is tucked away down there and time to get the socket on 32 if you're interested and you'll need a bit of a wiggly thing because it's at a strange angle so let me get it in there and we'll crack it open there you go once you crack it it's pretty easy to come open but it is a bit of an awkward angle uh, make sure of course you've got your favorite pants waiting to uh, catch the oil drips and extract Yeah, make it easy. Oh, blimey. There you go. Come on out. One oil filter. One new filter. Oh, man. Don't forget to replace the O-ring. New filter in. Click. Let's chuck it in the car. And back down in the abyss again. All done. There you go, 26 newton meters to crack that up. Some plug back in place. As I said before, don't hang on those too much. It is a steel bolt in an alloy sump. You don't want to crack it. Good job I put the uh, cardboard down by the way. A bit windy today. Now time for a bit of fully synthetic glug glug juice. I've got my uh, favourite funnel. And I've got my, what's becoming my favourite oil for uh, all these VWs fits the bill, fits the car. Glug glug juice, go! Stick in the dippy. There we're looking. Oh, about halfway. A bit more to go yet. That's better on the top mark. Right, start her up and uh, let the oil travel around the system. So, start it up, let it run for 30 seconds, quick dip, 
back here again where are we sitting just below the top measure that'll ding dang do for me old filter out not that it really needed changing it's like brand new this car does damn all miles anyway there you go new one in i suppose oh man can you tell the difference there's not much new one in so about all i'm left with now is to put the lid back on and button at the bottom not going to change the fuel filter this time for two good reasons uh, one it wasn't in stock when i went to get the other parts and two as you can imagine this car doesn't do any kind of mileage probably about three thousand a year so that's going to be like new anyway as um as the air filter was so it's not going to be a concern this time right let's get it finished off get it on the ground and uh, cool it well done just a quick check see if there's any leaks we good yeah oh button back up and of course you should know the routine by now waste oil in the carton down the tip and that is it we are done um, only thing to do now is reset the service light using VAGCOM but I'm not going to take you through that I've done it before but um, there you go that was a, a quick oil change on the wife's A3 Cabriolet and now because the sun's out maybe we go topless who knows <laughs> right Catch you later, YouTube. Bye for now.